Hello everyone, welcome back to the IELTS online series day 12 and in today's class we'll be starting with the reading section and in today's class we will learn the multiple question types that you should know to take the IELTS reading section along with that we will also solve the first question type of the reading section so let us quickly begin um, now before looking at the question types let us look at the structure of the exam which we have discussed in the introduction video even though let us just reflect on whatever we have talked about uh, so far uh, so basically reading section incorporates of three long texts which can be descriptive or factual at the same time can be discursive and analytical meaning it could be based on a conversation or it could be a discussion and the article could be anything basically the texts are actually authentic and are taken from uh, books, journals, magazines and newspapers and are on academic topics of general interest. So you, you will not get um, a rather a very uh, you know technical subject but rather the topics are generally going to be of on an average of things that we generally talked about that we talk about uh, in our daily lives. Now, talking about the time period that you will have for the reading section in the IELTS exam is 60 minutes and it is recommended that you spend 20 minutes on each section. Now there are uh, you know a little bit of myths uh, associated with uh, spending uh, uh, in regards to how much time is to be spent for each section. Some people say that the first passage is easier whereas the third is not and the third as the passes as we move towards passages the passages become more difficult but uh, i would not um, like to uh, stick by that myth and you should equally spend 20 minutes for each each passes there can be times where you may find the first pass is difficult than the um, you know uh, than the third passes or the second passes and as i have already mentioned the the reading section is divided into three sections meaning three passages um, in total, there are 40 questions uh, in the reading section uh, and because um, we only have three sections, this is divided into, you know, um, this uh, the 40 is not divided into equal number of questions. So probably one passes will have 13 questions, whereas the other will have 15 and the other will have probably 16 questions and so on. Uh, so the questions are divided unevenly between the three sections. Uh, finally, we are here to look at the type of question that you should know, know to uh, tackle the reading exam. The first one is a note summary, a table completion, uh, and this can also go on ahead with a flowchart completion. If the question is in the format of a flowchart, you can call it a flowchart completion. Uh, then we have another question type, which is a true false not given or a yes no not given question. The third one is matching information matching features matching headings so all of these questions fall under the category of matching questions however these are actually different questions and then we have short answer questions pretty much straightforward matching sentence endings this also falls under the heading of matching but again a rather difficult a rather difficult and a different question type then we have sentence completion question which is pretty much similar to the first question type however i have categorized it as a different question type um, then we have multiple choice questions and finally a diagram label question. Um, so we are going to talk about each question in detail and uh, in this series I am going to ask you to download some resources. We will be um, more or less we will be using the Cambridge IL 17 book. Um, so you can download it on the internet if you want to. Also I will also share the PDF version of this book in my link and uh, we will be using passages from IELTS Cambridge 17 however some passages may also um, can also be from you know other other publications such as IELTS 15 14 but I'll make sure that I'm giving you the accurate information so that you can download these books and these passages whenever we are solving the question and we will be solving each question type uh, as we move on with the classes so let us begin so the first question that we are looking at is a note completion question. So before we uh, start solving this question, there are a few strategies that we need to follow in a note completion question. So the first thing that we need to know about this question is that questions do not follow the order of the text meaning um, um, let's say if something has been mentioned in the passage it does not mean that the questions are going to be in the same order as of the order in the passage about whatever is being talked about 
however they will usually come from one section rather than the entire text even though this does sound a little bit confusing right now as we move on with the question and start solving it this statement will be uh, pretty much clear uh, so the first thing that we are going to do is before we jump into the passage we are going to read the question very carefully uh, then we are going to note how many words one can write um, so the word count again is very important in the reading section as well just like in the listening section normally one two or three and you should um, you should be able to instruct you should be able to follow the instructions that has been given in the question as well um, especially with uh, one word and or a number just like we did in the listening section and if you should get the words from the reading text or a list now there can be times when the question may ask you to get your options from the passes get your answer from the passes and there can be instances when the question will require you to choose your answers from the list of options that has been given in the question itself obviously depending on the information that has been given in the question in the passes um if if the question type is a summary completion question you are going to skim the summary and try to understand the overall meaning as to uh, what the summary is trying what the summary is about uh, at the same time you should also be able to figure out if the summary is just from a section of the passage or is it from the is it a summary of the entire passage now depending on the kind of question it is uh, if the summary is a uh, is of the entire passage it may be difficult for you to solve this question but if the summary is just of a certain section of the passage it may be an easier version of that question um, now still before jumping into the passage we are going to predict the answers um, before we look at the reading text and we are also going to think about the kind of answers that can be there just like we did in the listening section as well so uh, before you uh, go to the question try to read the question underline the keywords of the question look at the blank spaces try to figure out what the answer could be is it going to be a noun is it going to be a verb an adjective and so on now finally after you are done underlining the keywords you are going to scan for these keywords now one of the major skills in the reading section is being able to scan so the questions that the words that you have um, underlined in the questions look for those specific words in the passage so you don't have to read the entire passage to be able to solve this question just scan for those keywords wherever you find those keywords read in detail to understand the context um, and after you are done understanding the context come back to the question and um, choose the correct answer or write the correct answer remember to be careful with synonyms because um, similar to the listening section where the speaker was using different kind of rephrases and synonyms in the reading section as well the passes uh, the keywords or the um, you know words in the passes may be different to what has been mentioned in the question so you also have to be aware of the synonyms and also finally check to see if your word makes the sentence grammatically correct especially if it is a summary completion question when there are complete sentences in the question in cases of note completion it's not necessary for you to, for the content to be grammatically correct however in a if the answer belongs to a complete sentence you must see if your answer makes the you know makes the sentence grammatically correct as well now let us do uh, i need you guys to download um, this passage if you have not downloaded the il 17 book already uh, you can find this passage on the internet as well so you can download this passage which is basically a part of cambridge il 17 and test one and passes one so in this passage we are going to do question number one to six and this is the question which is a note completion question a sample for note completion so the first thing obviously that we are going to do is read the questions uh, complete the notes below choose one word only so there is a word limit of only one word you cannot write more than that word so the the word that you're required to choose is from the passes so you are going to look for your answers in the passes and not from any list write your answers in boxes one to six on your answer sheet now as i have already mentioned if you are taking a paper based test you'll get an answer sheet and you are required to copy your answers from your question paper to the answer sheet however on a computer based test you are going to do it um simultaneously as you read the passes um also another thing is that you do not get extra time in the reading section like in the listening section so in the reading section you'll just get one hour and in that one hour you should be able to copy your answers from your question paper to the answer sheet all right so the second step was to after reading the question we are going to skim the major questions that has been given here 
so let us try to see um let us try to solve question number one um so as we move on to solving question number one we are going to look at the heading of the uh, question which is the problem then we have major keywords which is 1800 and 1850 along with the word london so the keywords are basically going to be uh, any kind of words or numbers that allows you to easily scan those words in the passes right so keywords are always going to be specific uh, words that you can easily see in the passes so the words like the is probably not and is not going to be a keyword or increased is uh, probably not going to be a very special keyword right so you have to look for words which can easily help you to find uh, these words in the question now if we look at the passes we can find the uh, number 1800 in the first paragraph itself which is 1800s we can also find the word london here now if we read the context of the question let us see what kind of answer is the question asking us to find the dash of london increased rapidly between 1800 and 1850 um, so it could be anything the traffic the people right now if we read the statement it becomes absolutely clear that the answer is population london's population grew at and grew is actually a rephrasing for increase which has been mentioned in the question increased at an astonishing rate uh, rapidly another another keyword another rephrasing for another word that has been mentioned in the question so you really have to be aware about the kind of rephrasing that the um, that can be uh, in the passes um, uh, in regards to the question that you are looking at so the answer for this question is population moving on to uh, question number two uh, now we see the word charles pearson which is another keyword and uh, our solicitor is also a keyword so we find this keyword in paragraph number two as we move on with the passes um, and let us see what the question requires us to find which is building the railway would make it possible to move people to better housing in the so it's about moving people now uh, please read in detail wherever you find the keywords to understand the context and find your answers so as we um, read in detail here to figure out the context of what the uh, writer is saying uh, we find that his idea was to relocate the workers which is a rephrasing for move people to poor workers which could be people who lived in the inner city slums to newly constructed suburbs right so the answer is better housing in the suburbs um, then in uh, uh, question number three um, a number of dash agreed with the patient's idea so let us look about agreement um, then we find another um, rephrasing which is gain support which can also be a synonym for agreeing and the correct answer as we can see is businessman moving on for question number four the company initially had problems so let us see if we can see any rephrasing for the word problems and we do find um, the word difficulty in the third paragraph um, the organization had difficulty in raising the funding so funding is the correct answer for question number four and for question number five negative articles about the project appeared in the then as we continue reading we find that the word articles critical articles or negative articles printed by the press so the answer for question number five is press and finally let us find the word brick arc and we find the word brick arc in paragraph number four around the end of this paragraph and as we continue reading we realize that uh, with the completion of the brick arc the tunnel was actually covered with soil so soil is the correct answer now because we are limited to writing only one word we should not write layer of soil uh, so just try to write one word answer depending on what the instruction has asked you to do now let us begin with the summary completion question type and um, for this question type i need you to download the passage called stadiums past present and future and you can find this in the book cambridge il 17 uh, test one passes to as i have already mentioned that uh, we will be using mostly passages from the cambridge il 17 so it's always better if you have already downloaded that book if not you can just download this passes or you can find this passes on the internet and we will be solving question number 18 to 22 uh, of this passes which is a summary completion question um, identifying the question type is obviously easy because you can also look at the question and identify or you can read the instructions that has been given in the question 
as we can see complete the summary below that means that the question is in the format of a summary and hence we'll call this question a summary completion question also quickly look at the word limit that has been given in the question so we can only choose one word from the passes uh, to be our answer and you should write these answers in your answer sheet if you are taking a paper based test in question number in answer uh, in the boxes numbered 18 to 22 and if you are taking a computer based test or else in computer you should um, you should mention the answers in the blanks as numbered uh, now moving on the first thing that we are going to do as per the strategy is try to understand the context of the question before we jump onto the passes so first of all we are going to read the headings we are going to understand the context and underline the keywords in this case roman could be our keyword versatile could be another keyword amphitheater of ours is a major keyword because it's a noun um, then as we move on we see the word spectac spectators arena and these could also uh, um, you know act as a keyword for us meanwhile arena in verona could be another keyword um, lucas site of lucas amphitheater is also a major keyword here uh, it is a market square could be another keyword and roman amphitheater probably that that has been that has become a little bit common for us so homes could be another keyword for us right so here as we can see i have also mentioned a note that a summary completion question can either be of a certain section from the passes or a summary completion question could be from the entire passes now if the summary is of the entire passes it may be a little bit difficult for you to find the answers because the answers will be dispersed throughout the passes however if the summary is from a section it will be relatively easier now let us move on to looking at the uh, 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 looking at the question and solving each question so again as we have discussed in the strategy for this question type as well you don't you do not have to read the entire passage rather you can just scan for the major keywords and you can solve uh, this question type so as we start scanning we see the word amphitheater of ours in a second paragraph and now let us read if we can find our answers So the question is actually asking us what was amphitheater of ours first converted into, right? So as we keep on reading, we realize that uh, it was a fortest in the beginning. So the correct answer for question number 18 is fortest. As we move on, we also see the word um, village, so which can be, which is actually a rephrasing or a synonymous word for the word residential area containing more than 200 houses um, with the growing interest in conversation in conservation during the 90 it was back converted back into an arena so we can find the word arena here which is also in the question for the stasis for the staging of bullfights thereby returning the structure to its as a venue of public spectacles so the word spectators has been rephrased here and the answer for this question is actually bullfights if you try to understand the context of the question all right moving on to solving question number 20 and 21 We find the word arena in Verona in the passage fall in the paragraph followed by the uh, in the second paragraph itself in paragraph B and um, as we keep on reading around this we see that the answer for question number 20 is opera uh, so basically the question is asking the arena in Verona one of the oldest Roman amphitheater is famous today as a venue where opera is performed and um, likewise, the past is also mentioned. It has endured, endured the centuries and is currently considered one of the world's prime sites for opera. So, opera is our answer in this case. The site of Luca is something that we find in paragraph number C. Now, again, let us read in detail to find if, if we can see our answer. The question is telling us the site of Luca's amphitheater has also been used for many purposes over the centuries, including the storage. So, let us read in detail to see if we can find our answers. Um, known as the piazza is another is yet another impressive example of an amphitheater becoming and we find our answer here in around the fifth line which is 
salt so salt depot so depot is a rephrasing for the word stories and hence our answer is salt the word market square is a major keyword and we find it in the same paragraph paragraph number c and as we keep on reading we realize that the answer for this question is shops right shops and residences and homes is another word is a rephrasing for the word residences and hence shops is our correct answer for this question